This special episode of the Bitcoin Show Conference Edition is brought to you by Mt. Gox. That's M-T-G-O-X dot com and bit-pay dot com. That's B-I-T-Pay dot com and Mezzy Grill, M-E-Z-E Grill dot com and Cablesaurus, Cablesaurus.com. First. Bitcoin Conference and World Expo. You know what that means? That means we are making history here. This is like the world's first meeting of the internet. So cool. So, Bitcoin is so, so, so cool. I don't need to tell you about that. But what's really cool is um, that we are all here and uh, we're getting together. And like I said, you know, everybody was like, how many people are filming? How many people are going? Oh, 10. No, it's going to be eight guys in a row staring at each other. And uh, <laughs> a couple <of> ladies here. <laughs> but uh, we had no freaking clue. But one thing I knew for sure from my experience was that Bitcoin people are very, very busy people. They're like the busiest people in the world. And uh, I knew they would all register at the very last minute when they're boarding the plane, or even after they arrived. Like, I think more than half the people registered, like, last night. So, the, and, and, like, uh, either last night or they're, like, just showing up at the door, which is cool. It's all good. Thank God we got enough chairs. <laughs> we, for those of you who were at the studio yesterday, um, you saw Studio One, the big room. That's where we originally planned to do this. We were going to have, like, little tiny folding chairs and little tiny tables. I don't know what we were thinking, but, you know, like I just don't, we didn't know, we had no idea. So, uh, and I'll tell you this, like, um, what was it, like, about a week ago, there were 19 people registered, so now, I, I don't know, there's something like over 100 or something like that, so it's a really great turnout. So, um, I just got, I just want to welcome everybody to this and understand this is a historic moment, it really, really is. Obviously, it's not the number of people that are here, it's the quality of the people, the quality of the minds, and the quality of the conversations. You know, people are arriving Wednesday, and people are going to stay till next Wednesday, too, so don't, don't book your return flight yet. There's a lot happening here. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. So, um, you know, the, the mind melding and all that, I don't need to tell you. It's like, um, it's like kids, you know, being told they're all going to Disneyland. Everybody's just so excited. Last night at, at uh, Hudson Eatery, you know, it was just amazing. You just, the energy was palpable. So, um, you know who I am probably, but not everybody does. So, um, only when TV is an internet television network. But Ed and I actually, my partner, uh, business and life partner, Ed Gell back there on the camera, uh, and I started, and um, we originally had an idea of like talk, doing a talk show or whatever, and then it, like five years ago, and it sort of like accidentally became a network because we figured, well, if we're gonna have a studio, we may as well do one in one show. And then after we got the studio, less than three months ago, we, um, Ed was like, all you do is talk about Bitcoin half the day, you know? And so we were like, well, maybe we should do a show about Bitcoin. We should, we should add a show and call it the Bitcoin Show. And obviously, you know, now we're like known as the Bitcoin Network because now we actually have the Bitcoin Show every day at 2 p.m. when it's on time, whenever, or like four shows a day if there's breaking news because not gosh was hacked and blah, 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 whatever. But um, now we actually are in a rolling launch of the Bitcoin Show in 10 more languages. So we're actually going to do three shows a day, one in English at 2 o'clock. And no, I'm not doing the other shows. <laughs> I don't speak anything else but English. But we're doing, let's see if I can do it right, Spanish, uh, Portuguese, Chinese, Korean, uh, French, um, Russian, yeah. They said Polish, uh, three more. I forget what they're Dutch. Which one? Arabic, yeah. I'm missing one. I can never get them all. But anyway, it's really, really cool. So we're going to do two a day. And obviously, you know, I'm not posting them. And it's mostly done by Skype. But some, like, um, you know, we have local hosts for the Spanish show, for sure, and the Chinese show, local people in New York, which is fantastic. Of course, we have to get people from the Bitcoin community. You can't just make someone who speaks Chinese a uh, Bitcoin person. But uh, <laughs> it's really, really, really exciting. Oh, and then when we, when we launched the, uh, the Bitcoin show, like, boom, suddenly we got, like, 16 new sponsors, like, out of nowhere. And so 
but they all went at the other Bitcoin show. So obviously, it's really, really exciting time because Bitcoin itself is exploding. So um, this is history in the making. I don't need to tell you. Um, I am just so, so excited and honored to be here and uh, to see, to witness this. And uh, I love you all. <laughs> it's just so freaking awesome, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Woo! So, you're not going to make but I have a couple things I want to tell you about that I have up my sleeve. And um, obviously, this first one is pretty obvious. This is not going to be the first and last Bitcoin conference. We're going to do another Bitcoin conference and World Expo in New York uh, in uh, 2012. Down again. There. Yeah, Bitcoin Conference NYC 2012. It'll be here again, October 18th to 21st, next year. That's pretty obvious, you probably can guess that. But there's been also huge demand for a conference in Europe, because believe it or not, not everyone lives in North America. So I just discovered this. <laughs> We're a global network, and Bitcoin's a global network, and so we go hand in hand. So we are gonna do a Bitcoin Conference Europe 2012, which is going to be in Amsterdam, where else? Uh, June 14th to 17th. So that's exciting. Book your hotel with that one. We'll, we'll click the venue, we'll let you know. And also, all of these details are going to be on bitcoinconference.com. So obviously, and in fact, there, you know, if, when you registered, if, if you weren't asked, uh, is it okay to publish your information, let Manny know or whoever's at the desk, if it's okay to publish your information, we're going to put it on bitcoinconference.com so you can all network even after the fact. You have emails or whatever you want to list there. Um, but Bitcoin Conference Europe, Amsterdam, June 14th to 17th, and that's not all, because not everybody lives in Europe or the North or North America. So we decided that um, there's this whole other part of the planet on the other side called Asia. So Bitcoin Conference Asia is going to be in 2012, even sooner. It's going to be in Pattaya, Thailand, <coughs> February 16th to the 19th. That's coming up. It's only six months away. So you really got to book this. We're gonna, we don't know the venue yet. It might be Four Seasons or um, Ritz Carlton or whatever, but um, trust me, it's nice. It's on the beach. And Pattaya, if you don't know where that is, it's like there's a brand new Bangkok International Airport, this beautiful world-class airport. And Pattaya is closer to the Bangkok airport than Bangkok, time-wise. It's beautiful and it's on the beach and it's all the best place on earth. So obviously I had a little bit of say in picking the cities. These are my three favorite cities on the planet. In New York City, Amsterdam, and Pattaya. Where else is there? So really excited about that. And if that's not enough, we got one more. And that is um, um, so exciting. <laughs> this is for 2013. We decided that Bitcoin, see, you know, people are going to have like private little uh, millionaire parties because, at, well, especially before the My Bitcoin thing. When you become a millionaire, <laughs> yeah, when you become a Bitcoin millionaire, you don't have to invite everybody or tell everybody, but you got to tell me and invite me. You hear that? <laughs> so anyway, but by 2013, you'll probably be, there'll probably be some Bitcoin billionaires. And so we decided to have, what, a Bitcoin world cruise. Now, this is not just any cruise. Uh, I have a friend who actually started the largest travel agency in the world. He's got, he's got on every cruise and every tour on the whole planet his whole life. And he's old. And, and he says this is the best itinerary in the world on the best cruise line in the world. Because what else do we deserve, right? Um, it's called Crystal Cruises. Five star Bitcoin world cruise and uh, it's Buenos Aires to Rio, February 26th to March 10th. It's already set up. That you can, it'll be on BitcoinConference.com, all the details, but uh, basically you just go to Crystal Cruises, contact them, and it's group code G001, we're group one. How's that? You can remember that. So, how's that? That's it. Oh, by the way, speaking of the t-shirts, we have souvenir t-shirts because Geeks love t-shirts, right? Yeah, we already have t-shirts. But anyway, you have to have a t-shirt that says World's First Bitcoin Conference. Anyway, they're $25, that's like the cost, you know. So uh, you can start from up over there. And also, if you, did, you know, whenever you come them later online, that's right. And uh, let me see a, a show of hands. How many miners are there again? Wow. Okay, now how many adults? <laughs> None. That's what I thought. Okay. And how many people have known about Bitcoin? Um, let's see. Uh, let's show a uh, show of hands. How many people have known about Bitcoin since uh, 2009? Three. Three. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> you didn't buy any? Oh, okay, it's gonna act okay. <laughs> So how many people have known about Bitcoin since like uh, November 2010? Yeah. How about um, like um, say what April 2011? How many people have just learned about Bitcoin in the last month? <laughs> yeah, nobody's gonna admit it. <laughs> So let's get back to uh, to uh, our breakout sessions, actually. So um, if you want to, um, you see the list of uh, breakout se se uh, uh, sessions that are uh, listed there. So if you want to just kind of like form groups or whatever and just, uh, you know, let this happen organically, right? Because we're just, this what are the sessions? What are the sessions? Who has a schedule? Do we have a schedule? Yep. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Bitcoin client development, back there by the exit sign. How's that? And we'll start there and go where you want. And then uh, mining hardware and software up here in the corner. Okay? And then uh, trading and exchanges, we'll do over here in front of the big trade hill banner. And then merchant solutions, how about over in front of BitPay? That would be appropriate. <laughs> what do you think? And then, so those are the breakout sessions, but you can form your own, obviously. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Great. Thanks for being here. A special thanks to our sponsors, the first, Mt. Gox, mtgox.com. You know them by now. They are the largest exchange for Bitcoins. They are now taking the British pound, Australian dollars, and Canadian dollar should be here any day now. The euro is now here with the Bitomat acquisition. Mt. Gox mobile app is now on the Android market. It allows you to take Bitcoins on the go. And finally, with the USB security device, the YubiKey, it protects your account even on compromised computers. And brought to you by BitPay, that's B-I-T-Pay. They are the official uh, merchant processor for the Bitcoin conference. They allow you to accept payment in Bitcoin and receive US dollars instead. Super simple to integrate into your website. We did it. And finally, they allow you to generate QR codes, invoices, and more. Just a full inclusive merchant solution for Bitcoin. And Mezzi Grill, uh, where authentic Mediterranean food meets modern flavor. They're now serving breakfast. They're right here on 8th Avenue at 55th Street in New York City, just a couple blocks south of Columbus Circle. They are the first brick and mortar to accept and sell bitcoins in new york city there are also worldwide franchising opportunities available and we did eat there for the conference and it was delicious and bitbrew.net all coffee orders are roasted in order to guarantee the freshest possible product they do have organic and fair trade coffees as well as rare and exotic high-end varieties like the jamaican blue mountain that's not a blend, and Darwinian Delight from the Galapagos Island Estate. If you were in the Bitcoin conference, the first uh, few people were able to get free samples of Darwinian Delight, some decaf and other varieties. They do have whole bean or ground ready to order, now shipping internationally at a flat rate, and everything is sold exclusively for Bitcoins using static pricing. Again, that's bitbrew.net.